digital romance TV. Hi and welcome to Digital Romance TV. I'm Bobby Palmer, the dating and relationship coach for women over 40, founder of Date Like a Grown Up and leader of the Romance Revolution. And today I want to help you make an outstanding first impression even before you go on your date. Here are five things you can do. Number one, set them up to anticipate a good time. So how do you do that? On the phone, um, through email, in text, be upbeat and be energetic about meeting him. Tell him that you really look forward to it. Tell him that you're interested in hearing more about something he mentioned on the phone or tell him that you wanted to learn more about certain things that are in his online profile if you met online. And tell him how you can make him happy. If he asks you where you want to go for dinner, tell him exactly what you'd like to do. He's probably not asking because he's lazy. He's probably asking because he really wants to take you, take you to a place that you'll enjoy. So set him up to anticipate a nice time by being really positive about it and being really forthcoming with what to do that you'll enjoy. The second thing is plan to dress to impress. So don't just go to a date after you're working all day or don't go on the way to doing something else. When you have a date, plan it so that you can take the time to wear something nice, refresh your makeup, sort of take a breath, get centered so that you feel good. So it's not just about you looking good to him, it's about you feeling great about yourself. So when you arrive, you make a great first impression because you feel confident and you feel beautiful. Number three, get your story straight. And by that I mean, you're meeting him for a reason, right? There's something about him that got your attention and that interested you. So before you even go on a date, think about a couple things that you want to know about him. Also, think about a couple things that you want him to know about you. I'm not telling you to pre-plan the whole conversation, but if you do spend just a little time giving this some thought and you sort of have that in your back pocket, then you're likely going to find a way to move into conversation that's just more casual and more enjoyable and you're actually going to learn some things about each other that are really valuable instead of, you know, how's the weather and what you did last weekend. So make sure that you spend a little bit of time in advance thinking about what you might talk about. Number four is go with the hope that you like him. The reason I say that is a lot of times when we go on dates, we go thinking, oh, I hope he likes me, I hope he likes me. No, I want you to go thinking, I hope I like him. That puts you in a whole different frame of mind. Instead of worrying about what's in his mind, you're just going thinking, I hope I like him, and you can be present, and you could be in a discovery mode. It's what I say, it's what I call discover, don't decide. Go on your dates, just knowing that you're gonna discover certain things about this guy, and hope that you like him. And that should help you relax. That should help you relax into it, just be yourself, and really understand it's just about two people getting to know each other. And then lastly, number five, is manage your expectations. A way to make a great first impression and just have overall have more successful dates is to really manage your expectations before you go on the date. It's true that like one, you know, you're looking for the one, but you can still have a good time meeting the other men along the way. And don't get the idea that you're going out with him and you hope he's the one just out of your head because it's not reasonable. I mean, the fact is most of the dates you go on aren't going to be the one. So also release your expectations of what he should be like and what he should do for you and what he has to do for you. If you do that, then you lose that, you, you lose that, you're not setting yourself up for disappointment. You're not setting yourself up for that frustration that you get when you have all these high expectations and it doesn't turn out to be what you imagine it should be. It should be. I mean, when I was driving on my way I met my husband online. We connected online when I was driving on my way to meet him for our date. I wasn't thinking, 
oh, I hope he's the one. He better be the one. I had no idea. I was just going on a date. And it let me relax into it. I went thinking, I hope I like him. We had nice conversations in advance. I set him up to anticipate a nice time. I really paid attention to what I was wearing and I felt good. I knew certain things I wanted to talk to him about. And I, again, managed my expectations. It was a really relaxing date and we've been together every day since. So those are five things that you can do to make an outstanding first impression even before you go on your date. This is Bobby Palmer with Date Like a Grown Up. If you want to know more, go to datelikeagrownup.com and I can give you tons of information and tips and support with your first date, your next date, and everyone thereafter. Thanks so much, and I will see you real soon on Digital Romance TV. Did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH.